Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers. And today, Jonathan and I are on a backpacking trip in the Sipsi Wilderness, and we have a surprise today. So uh, stay tuned to find out what it is. In this video, Jonathan, along with some new friends and I, go on a two-night backpacking exploration of the Clifty Canyon in the Sipsi Wilderness of North Alabama. We started at the Borden Creek Trailhead and arriving late on the first night, we hiked in only seven tenths of a mile to a campsite just across the Borden Creek Bridge. The next morning, we hiked upstream on a community trail along the west side of the Borden and then Brazil Creeks. We followed Brazil Creek upstream until we reached the Clifty Canyon. At this point, we turned into the canyon and followed the Clifty Creek until we reached the lovely campsite with a huge fire ring. Leaving most of our gear at this campsite, including it turns out my phone, which was recording our path, we first explored a side canyon to the right in this view, which had a small cascade with a lovely rock overhang. Then, returning to camp, we bushwhacked our way up the main Clifty Canyon, battling brush and uneven slopes until we reached the amazing Clifty Creek Falls. After soaking up the beautiful canyon and waterfalls as much as we could, we returned to our campsite for the evening. The next morning, we hiked back out the way we came in, returning to the Borden Creek Trailhead, following the Clifty, then Brazil for a long way, and finally the Borden Creeks. This was an especially beautiful hike in an especially wild part of the Sipsi Wilderness. Come along and check it out with us. We are at the Borden Creek Trailhead, heading into the Sipsi Wilderness. Entering the Sipsi Wilderness. Now it's an easy walk down this road to the old bridge. Here we are at the Borden Creek, the post-apocalyptic bridge. Oh, the water's nice and clear. Yeah. We've had a lot of rain lately, so the water's really flowing. I thought maybe it might be muddy, but it's pretty clear. Nice. All right, we are going up trail 224, I think. And we're looking for a side trail that splits off here somewhere. Ooh, this trail's a little muddy. Here's our side trail. All right. There's our campsite. So, as you can see, we didn't go in very far tonight. <laughs> it's supper time already anyway, so we just uh, just arrived, left, left the Huntsville area right after work, and uh, we're just coming in a little bit. I'm gonna camp right here. There we go. Nice. Beautiful Borden Creek. Well, John, do you see somewhere to string up your hammock? Right there. That's kind of what I thought too. Hey, little guy. Hi. <laughs> Salamander. There he is. He's right there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello! All right, I didn't do much filming when I came in last night because uh, it was getting dark. But uh, uh, it is nice. Well, I wouldn't. It's not. It's threatening. Maybe a little rain today. We'll see. We hope. Keep our fingers crossed. It's not. But uh, uh, I said I was going to have a surprise for y'all on this one. So uh, uh, here it is. Ta da! <laughs> it's Squidly from Gone Feral with Squidly. So he's joining me today along with his son. Woohoo! Yeah. Woo <laughs> be a good time. This is the uh, confluence. Uh, the Borden Creek is coming off, uh, coming in off to the right over there, and the Brazil Creek is coming in from the left. So this is where we leave the Borden Creek behind and start following the Brazil Creek. Oh, the Brazil Creek's got a nice bit of water in it. Very pretty. So there is a Forest Service trail on the other side of Brazil Creek here that uh, Jonathan and I have hiked before. Mostly it doesn't get very close to the creek except right here. Um, so it's kind of a disappointing hike because it's a long hike that you only spend, 207. yeah, 207. Yeah. You only spend like a couple hundred yards by the creek. <laughs> yeah, it's a wood walk, exactly. All right, got a little stream, stream crossing here. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. And up the slope on the other side. That's the hard part. Now, usually I don't even bother trying. Uh huh. I just go through the water. Water. I think. Yeah. But because y'all are trying to make me look bad. Yep. Yeah, we crossed it before, John. <laughs> We are coming up on the Clifty Canyon. So right around this turn, we will leave the Brazil Creek behind. Ooh, ground looks boggy here. That's not too bad. This is the Clifty Creek running beside us now. Oh, a whole lot more water in it than when we were here last uh, fall, Jonathan. <laughs> um, I don't know for sure where to go from here. Oh, there we go. I see it. I don't remember this when we did this last fall. I do. Okay. Getting back on the road up here, it looks. Yep. Yeah, we probably could have stayed on the road the way it looks. Yeah, we could have. All right. Could have, could have, would have. Yep. A road did. 
Oh yeah, I fell through this on the last on that hike. <laughs> I remember this. This has got more junk on it now than it did then. Yeah. Maybe someone tried to like build a bridge. I think it just washed in. Oh yeah, that's true. Does not look intentional. No. Even if it was, it washed over anyways. Yep. This looks like something I've been on recently. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Here's yep, that's what I was just looking at. There have been pigs. So this is where we stopped last time. Yes. So my question now is do we have to cross here or can we stay on this side of the creek? I see a faint trail off here to the left. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can go around. Turned out not crossing the creek was the right decision, I think, because we have picked up trail again, at least for the moment. Nice cliffs above us. And big rocks below that have come off those cliffs. They did. We have found a campsite that has the biggest fire ring I have probably ever seen. No kidding. Wow. And they have a little starter. Uh huh. I see that. That's crazy. Somebody put a lot of effort into this. There's some wood piled up over there. Yeah. More over there to be broken up. Somebody comes here probably pretty often. I'm guessing this is frequently used by somebody. Yeah. For water source. <laughs> Look at that. In the dry season. Wow, yeah. somebody is serious about this place. <laughs> I feel like we've intruded on someone's I, private I, property. I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Look at that chair by the tree. You just lean back on the tree and sit on the chair. Oh man, with the with the foot rest uh -huh. too. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> it's a barca lounger. That is amazing. Did you get it? A yeah, barca lounger. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm not fast enough with that stuff. Uh, that was the worst. <laughs> that was terrible. There is a big snail <laughs> in the fire pit here. So somebody went to a lot of trouble to build a dam here. It sure makes it a sweet place to get water. All right, we put up one of our hammock tarps and put our gear under it in case it manages to rain on us. And we're going to go explore some of the side canyons here. So, uh, off that way. Whoa! Uh, I think I might get wet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the rocks are really slippery. Yeah, yeah it's slippery. I'm not a mechanical injury. Yeah, exactly. That second one was, was very slippery. Like I said, trekking poles just saved the day for me. You want mine? No, 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 no. I'm All just right. going to get wet. All right. Yeah, watch, watch out with that one. You can probably just jump, but make sure you get a good, yeah. good, good go at it. There you go. Yeah. We are picking our way along the canyon here. It's not always very easy. Hate to have gained all that elevation just to lose it for nothing. It is. Yeah? Oh yeah! Look at that! 
There is a waterfall at this canyon. And a heck of a rock overhang. It's more of a cascade than a falls. Someone has clearly camped under this rock overhang before. I can see why. It's nice. Kind of dry. Oh man, it's sunlight. I better film it while I can. <laughs> Woo! Yay! That cheers you up. Yeah, deer tracks. Pigs. There are raccoon tracks right here. What was that? Raccoon tracks. Yeah, coyote tracks are back there, I think. Been a lot of things hang out here. Decided to stop here by the waterfall and have some lunch. It has good lunch potential, as my wife would say. <laughs> so I'm having my usual peanut butter and honey squeezed out of my bag, but I forgot my jelly. So how can I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> So pretty. So we got water coming in over here. I don't think we're gonna go try to see what's up that canyon. I've not read of anything up there. And we got lots of canyon to explore today. Oh. <laughs> Slippery rock. Indeed. Yep. Yeah, looks like somebody carved an at sign in the tree. Why? <laughs> I, I don't know, is there, is there an email address? <laughs> huh. There's an arrow. I see the arrow. Huh, I don't know what they were going for. I guess they were at the tree. I guess. <laughs> it's a nice big tree. <laughs> you okay over there? Yeah, I'm good. That big rock's good and solid. Yep. Yep, but it's slippery too. Yeah, it's a little slippy. I see your tarp. It's still there. Yeah. See, I I knew I was right. And putting it up is good because that made the sun come out. There we go. That's right. Yep. Because I promise if we had not. Oh, it would have poured rain. It'd be pouring <laughs> rain right now. Indeed. All right, we are back at our campsite. That was side canyon number one down. Now we're gonna hit side canyon number two. As soon as I retrieve my phone so I can actually try to track the route I'm going. All right, we are trying to find our way. This is pure bushwhacking at this point. Now that's a hole in this tree. Woo! <laughs> we are battling brush. <laughs> This trail is not, this route is not as well traveled, at least not where we are, as uh, the last waterfall was. Oh yeah? The canyon is closing in, look at that. Yep. Huh. It is becoming a true canyon. <laughs> you got to have this for pos for posterity, right? 
as long as you're laughing with me, we're good. <laughs> yeah, definitely with you there. Wow, what a canyon. Such giant rocks and cliffs, and the waterfall is right back there. If we can just figure out how to get to it. <laughs> All right, over here. Oh, nice. Wow, that's pretty. It's still a bushwhack, though. Whew. I'm guessing someone has found a better route. Woohoo! I can hardly talk, though. <laughs> oh look, there's another one back there. Nice. What a beautiful waterfall. What an amazing canyon and waterfalls. Holy cow. Hey, I go see this one back here. Oh, wow. That one's cool, too. Look at that. Huh. And this is what the Sipsy Wilderness is all about. Oh, man. It has been beautiful waterfall here can't can't hardly tear myself away from it <laughs> it's been nice and the alternative to the waterfall is plowing back through all that brush again <sighs> just follow the road that's the mantra just follow the road Somewhere through all this brush, there is a tree. Oop, holly, holly. Oh, that was right across my belly. Whew. There is indeed a cave. There is a cave, really? Not much of one. I mean, no, it's like an overhang. Oh, okay. But, you know. We are almost back to camp. Um, my advice to anyone trying to get up to the falls is. Stay on the left side of the creek and follow the road. Trust the road. <laughs> it, at times you don't know if the road's taking you the right place, but it does take you right to the falls. So, sometimes it's kind of hard to follow the road, but try to stick to the road and it'll get you there. Woo! Good sight to see after all that bushwhacking. Got a fire started. Nice. Trying to maintain it. It took. Took some doing. It took some effort. Yeah. All right. Tonight's dinner is fire pots, porcini mushroom risotto, which looks pretty darn tasty. Hmm. Oh, that's good stuff. Very pleased with that one. It's a little damp tonight, but we're getting a fire going. Yeah, a little smoky eyes. though. Yeah, that was all in my eyes. I mean, you can't have this nice fire pit and not use it. For real.
All right, we got a fire going now. That's nice. Well, now that we got the fire going nice, it's starting to rain. <laughs> of course. Uh... It's been threatening rain all day, but finally it's getting to us, I think. How wet? Um, it's a little damp out here, but you know, nature calls. Good morning. It is our last day of our backpacking trip to Clifty Canyon. We are starting to get breakfast here and packed up a little bit. And uh, the rain stopped about, I don't know when, before midnight for sure. Yeah, yeah by midnight it was done. Yeah, so it was a lovely night. <laughs> Not terribly cold this morning either. It's just cool, very nice. Mm -hmm. So, time to make some breakfast. So, got my tent all packed up. We got our campsite packed up everyone's ready to go it's uh, about three and a half miles back to the car three miles something like that good 200 foot elevation gain right at the end which is always annoying but uh off we go see if john can make it across the log here Woohoo! all right now we'll see if i can do it while it's wet mm. Yay! <laughs> All right. Y'all know I'm not a fan of this, right? <laughs> there you go. Like a pro. We have returned to the Borden Creek, flowing in from over there. Brazil Creek coming in here, so now it's a very short walk back to the trailhead. And 200 feet of climb. And then 200 feet of climb. Yeah. <laughs> this, is this is, yeah, this is our first night's campsite. Welcome back to camp. Yep. Oh, we're, back. we're back. All right, we are back to our first night's campsite. So now we just gotta get up to the uh, road up here, 224, and go across the old bridge. In yeah. 2002, when I first came here, we could drive to it. And there was parking yep. down here for three or four. That's right. And that was about it. Yep. We used to park. We, the first time I ever came here, we parked right over there. Huh. We are back to the bridge over the Borden Creek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woohoo! We are back to the parking area. <laughs> that's a climb up out of there, that's for sure. All right, that was our two night backpacking trip to the Clifty Canyon. It was an awesome experience. Such cool waterfalls. Catch you next time. Hey everyone, I want to say special thanks to Squidly from Gone Feral with Squidly and his son Handyman who joined us on this hike. It was great to get to know them. Thanks so much for joining me on this one. Uh, make sure you guys check out their channel. Uh, there'll be a link up above and also down in the description. And uh, I'll catch you next time.